I live in an area where my daughters absolutely love spending time at the park. No matter how tired I am after work, I always make it a point to take them there regularly. It's a routine that my wife wholeheartedly supports because it allows our girls to run around and burn off excess energy. After their playtime at the park, we head back home, and both our girls happily take a refreshing bath before going to bed. It's a lovely and fulfilling way to end our day and brings us all closer together as a family. One day, much like any other, I came back home from work early, and my brother was visiting because there was a hockey game we wanted to watch together. My daughters were excited about going to the park, but I wanted to finish watching the game before taking them. As my brother and I watched the game, my wife prepared dinner for the family. We decided to have dinner earlier than usual since we planned to go to the park later. After the game ended, my daughters were ready for the park, and we were in a hurry because it was getting dark. The park was only 10 minutes away from our house, but I told my wife we'd be back in an hour because of the fading daylight. While on our way to the park, my youngest daughter fell and scratched her knee. We decided to head back home to clean and dress the wound. As we returned home, I expected my brother's car to be gone because there was no reason for him to stay. To my surprise, my wife hadn't locked the entrance door, something she typically did. I noticed my brother's car was still in the driveway, but didn't think much of it. However, when I entered our bedroom, I found my brother on top of my wife. It was a shocking and devastating sight. They saw me and stopped, but it felt like an eternity to me. I was in shock and didn't know how to react. My world had suddenly crumbled. I had loved my wife my entire life, and I couldn't believe this betrayal. My reaction wasn't what you might expect because I was in shock. I left to find first aid for my daughter's minor wound and then decided to go to the park. It was only later at the park that the reality of the situation began to sink in and I started to cry. I called my mom to tell her what I had witnessed and she was furious with my brother. The betrayal was overwhelming and I wouldn't wish this on anyone. When I got back home, my brother's car was gone but my wife was nervously waiting on the sofa. I didn't speak to her at that moment and focused on getting the kids to bed. The next day, I confronted my wife about the affair, but she claimed that my brother had forced himself on her. I didn't believe her, as my brother wasn't the aggressive type and I knew she was lying. I called my brother's wife and told her what had happened. He claimed he was drunk even though we hadn't been drinking that evening. I've since taken legal precautions, securing our bank accounts and consulting divorce lawyers. My wife's actions and betrayal have destroyed any trust one had in her. I kicked her out of our home and our kids are with me. They are aware that she won't be coming back. I've also discovered through snooping that my wife may have had affairs with other men over seven of our eight years of marriage. I've filed for divorce, and the legal process is underway. I'm worried about custody of my children, but I'm working towards a better future. My brother and his wife are also divorcing. I've learned through a DNA test that my oldest daughter is not mine biologically, but that doesn't change how much I love her. I'll continue to be there for both my children.